just kidding about disarming? says not to talk to strangers. God bless the USA and nowhere else. Are you okay? So, how's the scabbing been? Got the food medicine from that super duper mart? Really? You did? You did! Well, all right! Tell me all about it. So you're saying that they acquired a well-protected stash? Hmm. I wonder how many other places are hiding treasures behind monsters. Hmm. Well, keep what you got. Just traded for a big food shipment myself. Here, take a bit, my treat. Tastes kind of great after a while. Oh, and take this. It's an old food sanitizer. Just carry it with you, and it should automatically make most food and drink more, uh, better. <laughs> Landmines are one of the few dangers out there that you can profit from. Disarm one before it blows, and you can sell it for plenty of caps. I've heard stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Traders just call the place Minefield. Sounds like the place for some field work. Get in there, get back, and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? Oh, don't worry. No one ever goes there because they say it's a ghost town. And since ghosts don't exist, you can just focus on the landmines. I hear there's a playground in the middle of town. Reach that point and come back, and I'm sure you'll have some stories to tell. Remember, I'll buy whatever you're selling. Hi there. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Just kidding about disarming them. Hey. I'll be damned. You did it, didn't you? You disarmed that thing. Here's your reward. Hell, why don't you move in? Could use someone like you. Got an empty place here you can use. Here's the key indeed. It ain't much to look at, but talk with Moira. She's got random odds and ends you might be able to spruce the place up with. You stay safe. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wadsworth, your personal robotic butler. I am here to look after your needs and to keep you happy and entertained. What can I do for you? Yes, I believe this place could do with a bit more in the way of decoration. 
Speak with Moira Brown at Craterside Supply here in Megaton. She has quite a selection of items to enhance your living space. Certainly, sir. Here you are. I was going to attend the clairvoyance meeting, but it was cancelled due to unforeseen events. Of course, of course. Don't let me keep you. Sir, may I suggest you seek medical attention as soon as possible? It's good to see you alive and well, sir.
Discipline is the salt. It makes small numbers formidable, procures success to the weak, and esteem to all. I'm President John Henry Eaton, and you're listening to Enclave Radio, the voice of warmth and reason in this cold, unreasonable world. Greetings again, sweet America. This is President John Henry Eaton, and I'd like to chat if you've got a moment. Been thinking quite a bit lately about something we can all relate to, something that is unquestionably, inescapably American. I am referring, of course, to our great national pastime, baseball. Or so it had been. That's right, America. Before we were devastated by atomic war, each state had its own professional baseball team. Imagine. Perfect, cloudless day. The sun is warm and welcoming. And on the horizon, they appear like knights of yore, armed with bats of ash and hickory. Their name, the Capitol Congressman. Their purpose, to make you, dear America, revel in the joys of sport and sunshine, if only for an afternoon. Now, ask yourself this. What if the Capitol congressmen could live again? What if they could compete with baseball teams from Pennsylvania or Maryland? Put your faith in John Henry Eden, great America, and baseball will live again. Comfort, recreation, healthy competition, all will live again. This country will live again. And now, dearest America, we must say farewell, for there is much work to be done, and the Enclave never rests, never. Until we meet again, this is President Eden signing off. This is President Eden, and you're listening to Enclave Radio, the voice of America. Hello again, America the Magnificent. This is President Eden, and I was hoping we could talk. Did you know there are those amongst us who would shatter our hopes for peace, order, and security? These radical malcontents don't care about you. They don't care about America! All they care about is fulfilling their own selfish desires. Let's take a tally of these agitators, shall we? There are, of course, the raiders. Those anarchistic ruffians who roam the wastes, preying on any and all stealing, murdering. The so-called Brotherhood of Steel. Don't be fooled by their pseudo-nightly nonsense or supposed connection to the United States Army. These power-armored Boy Scouts are nothing more than oh. criminals with access to some antiquated uh. knowledge. Criminals who have had the audacity to claim this country's most important military installation as their own personal clubhouse. And don't be fooled, America. Those who have left the Brotherhood of Steel, branded outcasts, are just as dangerous, even more so, being in exile. And what about the slavers of Paradise Falls? Oh. Frightening the irradiating ghouls of Underworld. And last but not least, the hideously mutated super mutants that have completely overrun the entire downtown DC area. Oh. Oh. Lawlessness, terror, oh. murder. They're all around us. I ah. know. I know. Not for long, sweet America. Not for long. 
Oh, no. The Enclave will restore peace, order, and prosperity to this great nation. And those who oppose us will be removed forever. So remember, America. The Enclave is working around the clock to return this country to greatness. All you need is a little patience, a little faith. Until we meet again, and this is John Henry Eden signing off.
are those hot little potatoes? Because, you know, they're on the ground, like potatoes, and hot because they, um, explode. Anyway, what's up? My very own landmine! Oh, just what I've always wanted. Well, always since I sent you out on this anyway. Now, tell me all about it. What was it like going through there? What's it like disarming a landmine? Lots of places are nowadays. Good work staying alive in tough conditions. It'll be a great example for the book. I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while, but obviously you know your way around them. Have a couple rainy day toys of mine. And looking at this landmine it gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course. But it's easy to make your own, too. Yup, you've done a great job. I just need to add in the section on how to cook rat, and this chapter's done. Here, for your services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Of course, you may need them. We still've got two more chapters to go. The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there, for better or worse. For example, repelling mole rats, uh, learning about mire lurks, and when all else fails, how to handle being injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. What's first? Mole rats can burrow into almost anything and cause a lot of trouble. So I figured I'd make a chemical repellent stick for people to shoo them off. But I need it to be tested before I put the recipe to paper in the guide. So I need you to find some mole rats and test it out a bit. It'll be easy. One tap with the applicator and it overwhelms their senses with a sort of feel-bad sensation. Then they're gone before you know it. You could test it out on just a few mole ratties, but for real testing, Try it on 10 or more. There should be plenty in the tepid sewers downtown. See ya.